great news. My car is getting into the Halloween spirit by having the air conditioner die. It is still 90 degrees out. What is going on? How am I supposed to get into the Halloween spirit without fall? Come on, fall. I mean, take a look at this. That's right. It's my favorite holiday. What do we want to call it? Hallowmas? No, I don't like that. Christoween? <laughs> Come on, how, okay, set Halloween aside, how is any swan supposed to get into the Christmas spirit this early, and when it's still 90 degrees out? Anyway, <laughs> so I am sweating my butt off, but I'm making a run to every pharmacy in my area to see what they have. So hopefully I find some cute stuff. Every now and then they like to surprise us. I'm still trying to find that purple potion bottle from CVS. Um, I think uh, people in other states have it at Kroger's, I think you called it. But um, I've seen some people find it at CVS's, so I'm still looking for it. So here we go. Hopefully I find some good stuff and hopefully it's not too expensive because I'm doing bad this year. Our first stop is Walgreens and we are starting off strong. The succulents tend to have been overdone in the last year or two. They're everywhere, but these, they don't look very fake. Uh, I love the color combinations, the green with the jack-o'-lantern, the black with the black cat, and the purple against the white ghost really sets it off. Uh, I might have to go back and get those. I don't think I'm gonna wait for a sale because I really like them. <laughs> Over here we have some uh, more glittery decorations, but these potion bottles I really like. They have an antique pewter stopper in them. They're all different. They have a mercury glass finish. I think they're very elegant. This zero I'm not a fan of because they didn't pay much mind to his body, but the Oogie Boogie and the Mayor, they're pretty well made. So I don't know where they dropped the ball with poor zero here. Over here we have a fuzzy Jack and Sally journal set, um, we have a Jack pillow, and a little Jack himself. <laughs> These uh, glasses, I was tempted to get them because they actually come, I don't know if you can see it here, little wine stoppers. Now I want the wine stoppers more than I want the glasses, because um, my kitchen cabinets are cluttered enough. I don't need more glasses, but oh, I really wanted these wine stoppers. But the set was $14.99 each, and I'm not going to pay $14.99 just to get one bottle stopper. But they're super cute. I wish I could get them on sale. Now the mugs down here, I really like the handles on. You have Zero going around to a jack-o'-lantern. Sally has a black cat. Someone stuck some succulents in Sally's head there. That actually works really well. A Sally pillow to match the Jack one we just saw. And again, a plushie of the mayor and Oogie Boogie playing the saxophone. These Squishmallows, as they call them, oh, they're so adorable. They have a witch, a cat, and a candy corn. Although they didn't have the candy corn on the shelf. The cat I'm not so sold on, but the witch is super cute. Over here, they call it a Jason Window Wiggler. <laughs> He's cute. Um, this skeleton mask, I'm surprised the jaw is actually hinged. That is something I haven't seen before. That's really neat. I like that. Animated plushes for The Shining, Beetlejuice, and The Exorcist. Um, some Adam's Family plushes and other merchandise is coming out since I think the movie is coming out October 11th. Um, some pop figures, um, Hocus Pocus, it over there, and down in the lower right we have Herman Munster. I haven't seen that one before. It's a Gundam! <laughs> no, no. Um, down here is a Jareth the Goblin King figure from the Labyrinth. Um, 12 plus years. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not going to make any bulge jokes. <laughs> it's a pretty good figure, although I don't recognize the goblin that comes with him. Is that the one that latches onto his leg? I don't recognize it. 
They had some Nightmare Before Christmas action figures on the shelf, but all they had left was the Devil and Undersea Gal and Jewel. I didn't even know her name was Jewel, but the, um, the uh, half of the doctor that he made to replace Sally, I didn't know her name was Jewel. Next, we're at a CVS. They only had like a three foot section of things. The only thing different was these plastic knives. Those are different. Next, I went to another CVS. They had a haunted gingerbread house. They have all the Halloween cereals, the Frankenberry, Booberry, Count Chocula. They also have fruit roll-ups for Frankenberry and Booberry. Count Chocula has like a granola bar type thing. They also have spooky chocolate frosted flakes, spooky fruit loops, spooky apple jacks, and also Reese's Puff bats. We saw that one last year. Of course, we have a bunch of pumpkin spice flavored things, uh, including maple pecan and pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels, which my husband is a fan. Um, I asked the lady at the counter, did you already pack up your Halloween stuff or did you just not get much? She said they're still unpacking. They've only gotten the foods out. So I'm going to check back with them a little later. Next, we headed over to Rite Aid and they had three different uh, haunted gingerbread kits uh, that you could purchase. And the gingerbread is already cooked. You just have to put it together so you get the fun of decorating without having to do the baking. They have a little collector's tin with the M&M mascots. It glows in the dark and it comes with M&Ms, Skittles, Snickers, and Milky Ways. I'm a sucker for things that glow in the dark. It's not enough for me to buy this tin just to have it laying around, but it's still cute. They had a couple of knick-knacky things that were kind of cute. Some little animal skeletons, um, some Day of the Dead. These pumpkins are a little different. I kind of like the curly hats. <laughs> some skeleton buddies there. Uh, a little snow globe that has little black glitter in it and a raven. Um, because of the glare, I couldn't really get a very good picture. Can I zoom? No, no, it's not going to want to focus. <laughs> Sorry about that. The overhead lights are not cooperating. Um, not the best detail in it, but uh, it's still kind of cute. Some more Day of the Dead over here. And a pile of skulls, which are nicely aged. I like the patina, even though they're not life-sized. And a little solar-powered kitty and a jack-o'-lantern. I haven't seen this guy before, but he's actually cute. Mm -hmm. And this little guy here, I think if you bought a couple of them, you can make some really neat tombstones or something. But he, he's definitely screaming to be a part of a DIY project for sure. He's actually really well made. Moving on to another Walgreens, we have some plushies, Lock Shock Barrel, Sally Jack, and Oogie Boogie. And then we have some Nightmare Before Christmas dog toys. That's a neat one I haven't seen before. <laughs> and some Nightmare Before Christmas fluff balls. Although Sally there kind of looks like she should be a waitress at like a greasy spoon diner or something. I don't know why I think that. Now this Walgreens had something that the others didn't. It was some universal classic monster merchandise. Um, we have the creature from the Black Lagoon, we have Dracula, and we have Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. All the other Walgreens did not have these, so I was impressed and happy to see them. Um, they also had some little mystery prize ones. I got two of those. Um, they had pretty much the same amount of plushies, the Adams Family and the animated plushies from The Shining. Um, this one actually had a Pennywise window wiggler, so they call it. <laughs> um, some more surprise boxes. 
those are cute. <laughs> They're just adorable. Uh, I didn't get any of those, but they are super cute. The two pumpkins here were a little bit different from what I've seen around. Uh, it has on the left some bats flying across. Um, and then on the right, you have some spiders crawling across it. It was just a little different, not too much different, but good enough. Pocus Pocus drinking cups. And I put a spell on you. Can we talk about the broom on the little stir spoon there? That's really cute. And of course, it's a bunch of Hocus Pocus little pumpkin. A little light up witch cauldron, which has a fiery effect. I kind of wish they did something with the top of it so it didn't look so plain, but otherwise very cute. Again, something that I didn't see at the other CVS's, um, these little witch shoes. Um, they light up. Can I get the button? There you go. So they have kind of a fire effect. They're really well made. I like the design of them. Although the green goo, I, I don't know, did, is this spontaneous combustion? Did, did she burn down? Or did someone just throw a vat of water on her and then decide to use her remaining stumps as candles? So many questions, but still really pretty. <laughs> Can we just talk about how this middle one here, his, his arms are attached to his ears? <laughs> uh, this one, I, I really like the concept, but I think the skull could have been done better. I'm sorry, this middle one here still gets me. And look, he, he just looks so excited about something he's holding. All right, some more succulents over here. They're pretty well done. I, I think I like the combination. Um, we have some drinking mugs over here. Uh, I like the iridescent skeleton hand and a little pumpkin with some bones on it. That's pretty cute. Um, and then your basic stenciled pumpkins. I only saw this light up bat at one of the CVS's. It's pretty nice. I think I like Target's version better, um, but it's decent. It's not bad. Uh, I just wouldn't add it to my collection because I already have two from Target, so I don't need 20,000 light-up bats. Okay, maybe I do, but <laughs> uh, the base is, I think I would repaint it. It's, it's nice, but it's, I don't know why they did the white rubbing on it. I don't know. I don't like that part of it, but I, again, I think it's pretty decent. I just like targets better, I think. I can honestly say I haven't seen these before and I actually I kind of like them. They're they're very different. All right. Let's see. Can I get it going? Probably gonna get copyright striked for this. <laughs> and of course, it only plays the one song, so I feel like you're gonna get sick of this quick. But it's still cute, and it's only sixteen ninety nine. These little coin purses are pretty cute. I especially like the sugar skull and the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, the cat, I think they could have done a little better on. It's kind of, kind of meh. So if you liked those squishmallows, here's something to note. They come in an even bigger size. So <laughs> the one that I called the large, I'm now going to call medium. And then they have this large boy. And even later, later in the day, I found out that Five Below has them in a teeny tiny size and in more variety. So we can see there, they have the witch, they have the candy corn, they have the cat, although in purple instead of green. Um, they also have a jack-o'-lantern, a mummy, a Dracula, Frankenstein, a scarecrow, 
spider, bat, um, and this little bear with a witch's hat. How cute is that? More of a close-up of the dog toys here. I am a believer in spoiling your pets, so they need to get spooky too. <laughs> I'm going to set the mist maker aside for just a moment so we can talk about the snow globe here. It has a light up oogie boogie. Very cute. Okay, so this is an oogie boogie mist maker. <laughs> for 20 bucks it sits on your table and you can see the mist kind of pools in his mouth and kind of drifts out just a little bit it's not going to be like a fog maker um, but <laughs> clapping activates mist light and sound isn't that like the ham boogie boogie he wants you to applaud for him once again, another CVS. Uh, I like that wreath, actually. And the little pumpkin guy holding the eyeballs, he's kind of nice and creepy. But uh, I really like this giant color-changing laughing pumpkin. <laughs> and of course, I love this little lighted spooky tree. Uh, Nice creepy face holding a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns because one, I'm a sucker for jack-o'-lanterns and two, I'm a sucker for all things nostalgic and this screams nostalgic to me. Gets me right in those nostalgic feels. I almost like this little haunted house. I just kind of want to chip that one skull off over there on the left. It shouldn't be that big compared to the scale of the door. It, it just kind of irks me. The rest of it is really cute. If I could just chip that one off. I almost bought this one because it's really different and I really like it. Um, I didn't show it in this video, but it's actually the same on both sides. So he can either lunge towards or away from you, uh, depending on what you want. Of course, the first two of these I tried didn't work, and the only one that did work was the one missing an arm, but I feel really awkward pushing buttons located there. are really detailed. I'm actually really impressed with these. I kind of expect the mouth to move but it doesn't look like it does. Um, I don't know I kind of want to put a body on it but look at those feet. Look at the detail in those feet. Even the wings. They like really went all out with this. I'm, I'm super impressed by it. I'm impressed with these because the tongue really scared me. This one really impressed me too, because I was like, okay, it's gonna say its thing, but then something else happened. Also, at first thought he was giving us the finger <laughs> but no no that's his pointer finger he's not giving us the finger <laughs> the two witches I think could be really cute if someone repainted them and used an antiquing medium 
the same with this little owl and cat over here. I think you could do a really cute nostalgic look with them. Uh, <laughs> of course, all the other knickknackies. Um, but this one ghost over here, I'll show you in a minute. I had to go back and get him. Just, I usually don't do things like him, but he's so cute and he says, have a spooky day. Oh my god, I, I don't know, that made me happy. And her, well, I mean, her dress. Can I have that dress in my size, please? I, she, how is she better dressed than me? I love that dress. I want it. Make it in my size. And now for another Rite Aid. Um, I think these also would be cute if they were repainted with an antiquing medium. Uh, even the sunkenness of their eyes, that would be really cute to accent. These are kind of half-hearted nostalgic. Um, so I, I want to like them, not quite, but I want to. Uh, I think someone might be able to add something to them to make them better. Again, these might be cute if they were repainted with a antiquing medium. They're little springy bobbleheads. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I guess I'm a sucker for bobbleheads. I'm not sure, but I think they could be cute. Uh, given the right paint scheme. Some hair accessories with the little eyeballs, skeleton hand. I like them. I think they're cute. I was tempted to get them, but I resisted. Uh, I, I don't like the polka dot on the ribbons, but otherwise, I don't know, they're pretty cute. I know I'm jumping around, but we're at another CVS. This little bat hair scrunchie was really different. Furry and yet little glittery bat wings. Um, down here some little witch hats on bows, but those were a little too kitty for me. Look, you can, you can see I'm really contemplating that scrunchie. I, I was really thinking about it. <laughs> and then some black, orange, and spiderweb hair bows. I didn't pay the candy much mind, but these were a little different. They're gumballs. One had lime slime, one had candy pumpkin seeds, one had cherry blood. <laughs> I just thought they were a little out of the ordinary. And of course the orange junior mints. And as usual, fate is a cruel, cruel mistress. I had been looking for the purple potion bottle everywhere. I didn't think I was going to ever find it. And what does fate do? It teases me with the orange one. Uh, so, so close. I was looking in between the shelves to see if someone moved it to the back somewhere, hidden back there. But no, of course not. I don't usually do face masks, but I mean, they're Halloween themed. So I did get one of each to try in a later video, but they have a, a ghost egg white mask, a moisturizing pumpkin, and a bat charcoal mask. They're Halloween themed, I'm a sucker for it. I'm getting them. And I'm sorry, not sorry, but this Hello Kitty little tin purse is just adorable. And then you got the large Hello Kitty up there. I know I said large twice in a video. Oh well, <laughs> large. Normally I wouldn't buy a pair of leggings hanging in a bag, just put in an aisle somewhere, but I did get these black and white pair. Uh, so I will do a review on the quality of those later. Uh, but they also had the tattooed ones above. Some vampire lips, those are pretty cute. Uh, they did not have them in my size, however. And then this... Uh, what is going on here? Why the pumpkin with the legs and it, it's linking? That's just weird. Speaking of weird, um, Wakeman's, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, Wakeman's isn't exactly a pharmacy, but I'm going to add them because they had some cute things. And uh, it should just be a short little blurb. I, I know this video is going on 30 minutes already. Sorry. Uh, spider earrings. I'm a sucker just because, you know, Halloween. But they also had these cute mugs. I love the handles on them. Uh, they had a raven and a spider. 
I'm a sucker for curly handles. I don't know why. Uh, just add screaming sugar. That's pretty cute. <laughs> um, let's see. Some headbands. We've seen that before. Things that go bump in the night sign. It's, it's cute. Nothing special. Uh, these mugs I know some people are obsessed with. I think they are also very cute. Uh, little light up candles and October 31st midnight Halloween witches soiree beware of pointy hats <laughs> they also have these cute popcorn buckets not that I know what to do with them quite yet but I'm kind of obsessed they always have black and white striped things and I love it it's either the stripes or checkers I'm obsessed they also had dish towels and bats, pumpkins, witches, skulls, candy corn, which are very cute. Some candles. Um, again, they usually have the uh, black and white diamonds or checkers or stripes. Uh, they're usually pretty good on those themes. I love this cup. <laughs> black and orange checker. I love it. The only thing I don't like is that the inside is white. Why do they have to do that to me? I don't like when the insides are white, but it's still really cute. <laughs> All right, they have a jack-o'-lantern placemat, and of course they have some tablecloths, which are orange with spider webs and spiders and bats. And then they have just black and silver spider webs down below that. So, not a very big selection, but some cute stuff you have to admit. Over in the cosmetics section, we have some press on nails. I really like the green and black and the purple pinky spider nails. I think every store makes a killing on nail polish for Halloween, so they're just going to set those out there anyway. Um, the eyelashes, I love the spiders, I love the mesmerizing, and then over here, go ahead over to the left, the pixie dust, those are beautiful, oh my goodness. <laughs> those little red bows, meh, polka dot glitter, meh. I hadn't even heard about mystery Oreos, so I grabbed a pack of those because they took me off guard. I'll try those later, but I had to pick some up. And yes, I would buy a cake just because it's Halloween theme. I didn't, but I totally would. You know I would. And guys, this just, oh my god, totally made my day. Wegmans killing it with the cheese display. Uh, this made my day a hundred times better. Oh my god. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to break up the pharmacy trips and the other regular store trips, um, but <laughs> today I was I was getting really downhearted. I, I didn't see very much, and I was really getting down in the dumps, but then I went to some stores and my tune changed. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna break them up, but PetSmart, oh my God, killing it this year. <laughs> My cat is so spoiled. She doesn't play with any of this stuff. I still bought a ton of stuff. I'm sorry. My arm is really shaking trying to hold this. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's almost time to pick Joseph up again, and I am dying of heat. Sorry, I'm windblown because I have to drive with the windows open, um, but I cannot wait to show you. And uh, winner for the day, definitely. Wegman's cheese display caught me off guard. Oh my god made me and several other people literally laugh just together. It brought us together. It was a wonderful Halloween spirit. Okay. <laughs> so I'm ending my day with a matcha frappuccino. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> it's a small, I know it's still five bucks, but I'm so hot and it'll be melted in five seconds flat. So I'm going to end here. Again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully there will be a next time. <laughs>